Hi everyone and welcome back to another great episode of John's Rock and Vinyl 77. This time around I have quite a few uh, obscure psych and more common psych releases. Uh, psychedelic rock from the late 60s and, and early 70s. And also hard rock kind of blends in with that so I'm going to show that. The obscure stuff and the not so obscure stuff. So I'm going to start off with a find that I got from uh, actually the record show and this band is pretty obscure I mean I don't hear a lot of um, talking about this particular band but uh, this is the band uh, Barclay James Harvest and this is their very first album from 1969 I believe or 70 and it's on the, uh, the Sire label and it's also a promo copy if you look right there. And I got this really cheap, less than $10, and it's just a really cool progressive rock album. Um, and it's in great condition. It's a gatefold too. It's just vinyl's in really nice shape, and it plays great. That's all I could, uh, all you can really ask for. Let's see, let me show you guys the label. And these are, uh, this is one of those bands, it's a UK band. In that time period and uh, they were pretty popular in the UK but they they didn't really cross over very well into uh, you know the mainstream or anything so uh, I, I know this isn't their most popular album and probably a lot of people say this isn't their best but it's pretty good I, I enjoy it a lot and I've listened to it several times since I've had it so Barclay James Harris first album uh, check it out if you're into progressive rock, UK progressive rock, from that time period, from the uh, the, the earlier years of progressive rock. It's just um, it was a great time period in music for me, in my opinion. I think it's a great time period in music, and um, this is one. This is an album that's definitely worth checking out. It's it's good. It's definitely good. Let me see. Um, just gonna mix this up a little bit. Okay, let's uh, see this. This is an online purchase because I I just never been able to find a really nice copy of this until recently, and I've been wanting one, and I and I got one. Here it is. There's a Frigid Pink's first album. And let me show you guys. Just a really nice cover. Look at that. Hardly any signs of any wear. It's really tight. I like the sleeves look. It's nice. And then uh show you guys the vinyl. It's right here. Let's see. And I only paid like Twelve dollars for this thing, so I got a, I got a good deal on it for it being in the condition it is. Uh, the vinyl is really nice too. Just a, this is like an excellent um, acid rock kind of fuzzed out hard rock psych psychedelic album. It's just like pinnacle, like it's great. It's a really good album. I also enjoy their second album a lot too. But unfortunately, I don't, I don't have a nice copy of it. So that'll be the next one I'm looking for, I suppose. And there you go, for Japan's first album. <laughs> okay, what else do I have? Let's see. Here's a band everybody knows. Everybody should know. I, I'm sure everybody knows, of course. Very famous band. And uh, I've just been looking for a really nice copy, and I came across one online, and I got it for a great deal. For uh, for under uh, 20 bucks, and uh, it's a really nice copy of uh, Cream's Disraeli Gears. Check this out. It's in the shrink wrap, perfect crisp shrink. 
So the shoot's like beautiful, in really nice shape. And it is a first pressing, first stereo pressing on Atco. I've actually, I actually just recently saw a similar copy of this album sell for quite a lot more than I paid. So uh, here's the the labels. It is a actually this is if you look in the dead wax you can tell this is a very early pressing. It has the uh, Ludwig's Matrix labels and it has the uh, it says like. Uh, I think also uh, to know that it's an early pressing. If you look into the on the label, you see you can notice that the first song on each side has is on the top of the the uh, the label on both sides on the side too. And uh, yeah, so it's a really awesome, cool find for me. And a great album. Just a phenomenal. Seminal uh, psychedelic album, and it's early, early psychedelic from from '67, I believe. So ahead of his time, um, just a really good album. I love, I love it all. Great album, there you go. Just really gears by Cream. Everybody knows it. Everybody should have one. Let's see what this. Alright, so here's another record show find. I previously had a copy of this album, but I've never had this pressing. I still have the other one, but this is the very first pressing of Brother Fox and the Tar Baby on Oracle Records. And I got this for a really nice deal. Under twenty bucks. Fifteen bucks. And uh there's the gatefold, the famous gatefold. I don't know if anybody's ever seen that. It's on the back of the capital version. And like a really small little part, but there's the there's the gatefold right there. Like that. And then here's what the back of the cover looks like. And then we have the, the album itself. On Oracle Records. And if you haven't heard this one yet, you, you gotta check it out. It's, it's just a really classic, um, fuzzed out, um, kind of trippy sometimes, um, garagey. It kind of kind of has a garagey feel. Um, just hard rock, psychedelic rock, you know, progressive rock a little bit. Really good album, and probably one of the finest examples of U.S psychedelic rock I mean from this time period from 69 you know early stuff right here so great great example of that that time period of music and one that I that I really enjoy a lot and I constantly go back it's not worth a whole lot like that but I mean it's only worth a little bit more than the capital version but still it's a great thing to have. And now these next three are the most exciting. Because I, I've kind of been building it up. So uh, this one is one I've been trying to find forever. And it's just so difficult to find in good shape for a good price. And I managed to get a really good bargain on this album. It was it was under $40. It was like $32. High Tide. Um, sea Shanties. Just a really great deal on this, and um, I'm gonna show you guys. This is a a UK heavy progressive rock band. Um, their their album is is similar. A lot of people make comparisons to The Doors. Are um, I I don't really know. The vocals are very Jim Morrison esque, and uh, this is just a phenomenal album. And this is the US pressing, by the way. Of course, because I, I, there's no way I'll be able to afford uh, the UK pressing. Those are, those are pretty ridiculous. And here's the, the inner part. The only problem for me is it does have that little cutout, but it's like this is like no big deal at all. I, I prefer these kind of cutouts, honestly, than any other kind of cutout. So it's a nice, 
really nice record. Um, featuring Tony Hill on guitar. Um, he's probably the most famous from the band. Um, just a just a really good album. They released several other albums throughout about probably three or four other albums through their uh and then they even later on came back and released some more, but uh this is definitely the pinnacle of their their greatness. Their first album from sixty nine, uh Sea Shanties. Just a phenomenal record. And now I'm gonna show you guys the label. It was released on the Liberty label. I, th I think the guy that sold this to me thought it was in rougher condition than it actually was. He said it was a VG to VG plus, and this is definitely VG plus plus excellent, definitely in my opinion. Um, side one has a few slight scuffs that you can see in the light. Nothing too bad though, but side two looks immaculate, like it's never been played. It's just uh, this is just a really nice copy of this for the price. Typically a um, you know seventy eighty dollar album got it for thirty two dollars. So there you go. That was a win for me. Great album. I recommend you if I uh, recommend if you're into uh, UK progressive hard rock or psych psych rock. To check this album out. It's fuzzy, it's weird, it's freaky. Uh, I love the album. It's, it's just a really uh, really strange and powerful album. And I recommend, if you're into that, that period of music, like I said earlier, to check this one out if you haven't yet. It's definitely worth your time. If you are uh, interested in you know the progressive rock era of that time this is just really good heavy progressive rock like uh i i would i would show a clip but i'm not allowed to because of copyrighted you know infringement or whatever um the the other interesting thing about this band is that they do use a violinist in the band a just and they and they use it like really well um it's not overused at all it's just uh kind of in the background you can hear some some like really raunchy like violin it's just really really killer really great album I, I highly recommend that to everyone who's into that kind of music and uh, I only have two more for right now at least for this episode and I'm gonna start it off with I guess this one and this is Tofats 2 this is another find I got from the, the record show and uh, it's uh, their second album. I've been looking for this for quite a long time. And it's sealed. <laughs> Never been opened. So there you go. There's a there's a monster album right there. Really good. Their first two albums are actually really good. Uh, I, I can't really decide which one's better. I might say the first one's... It depends on the day, really. But um, the first one does have a lot of things going for it. Because it does have uh, Ken Hensley from... Uh, Uriah Heat playing on it. This one does not. This was after he had left and was in uh, Uriah Heat. But it's a really good album. Um, I, I highly rec recommend you guys to check this one out. Of course, I would show it to you if it wasn't sealed, but it's sealed. So I'm going to leave it like that for right now, and I'm going to crack it open one of these days, but not right now. It's a really uh, great album. Um, and uh, speaking of Uriah Heep, this was an album that I've been looking for for a long time. And it's also a first for in a, in a few categories. Oh, uh, in one category specifically. Um, here is my newly acquired, well, not that new, about a month ago or so, when I bought it. Uh, Uriah Heep's Very Heavy. And very humble. See that? Yeah. And this is an original uh, German uh, Vertigo Swirl pressing. You see the, the flimsy cover? The way it's kind of... It's actually in really nice condition for the age 
There's creases, of course. That that always happens, though. I mean, and there's some light, some scratches on the cover. But this is the the best part of the whole thing. It's an original on the Vertigo Swirl label. There's side A, and then a uh, side B. Just in really nice condition. It's in like. I'd say excellent condition. Really clean. And I got the steal of a deal on this album. I bought it online. Like, I buy a lot of things, and I just got lucky, and I was the highest bidder. No one else bid on it, so I got it for, uh, got it for like $11 and 88 cents or something like that. Um, there it is, man. I mean, the reason why I'd say I probably got it so cheap is because it wasn't from a foreign seller. It was from within the U.S. So, I think that people didn't really know. I don't, I don't know if it was an actual original uh, German pressing or not, but it most certainly is. And um, that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed what I showed. And um, thanks for watching, thanks for uh, commenting, and thanks for all the new subscribers from Corey's channel. Just um, thanks, thanks all, thanks all around uh, for anyone who's interested in this in this channel. And uh, sorry that it's been a while since I posted. Um, I don't know when my next one will be. It might be a while. I haven't been buying much. So um, until next time. Um, see you guys later. Bye.